Captain's Log. It's been a long time since I've rock and rolled. Anyway, how y'all doing? Um, don't look at her. Okay? Huh. Does that help? Here, let's do that. Um, I think I had to talk about a Nerf gun with y'all. It's, um, been a few minutes, clearly, and, um, hope y'all doing okay. And, uh, we've just had a busy few months, and, uh, I also just didn't do it. Anyway, um, I got a new blaster that I, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll talk about it. So, here it is. This is the, um, the Nerf Elite 2.0 Double Punch. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, um... A new, I don't know if it's like flagship, it's definitely a primary class, and um, very cool paint job, big fan, kind of looks like their um, for kids line, I don't really know exactly what they're calling it, but uh, they're doing like a lower power blasters with more uh, features, more friendly for kids, like bigger priming rings, bigger trigger guards, bigger front sights. This isn't to say that this is one of those. It just has the same paint job as one. So I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyway, the double punch. Why is it called double punch? It's double. 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 Punch, punch. Oh, man. Here's where I do a clean take of that, but I'm going to leave in the other one. Double, double, double. Punch, punch, punch. Um, yeah. So, double punch. It, um, it's two stripes put together. It's pretty neat. Normally, you know, Folks may be kind of, eh, about a strife reskin. skin I would argue this one's a little different. So, let's go over the features. No in-strike barrel lug. On neither of them. It's crazy. Anyway, um, in-strike compatible rail. Anyway, um, non-adjustable stock. Two, count them, two paddle style mag releases. I'm actually a fan of these. Rev trigger, regular trigger, wink. And then um, we got a built in angled foregrip. Very cozy, very comfy. We got some dart storage on top. Crazy thing. So this blaster comes with, does not come with batteries, of course. Um, comes with two 10 round magazines. I'll get onto those in a second. Um, no batteries. Mine um, that I got. Okay, one. How you can just look into it. It's pr pretty cool. We love. It's given some doom lands. You know what I mean. The the trigger makes the barrels wiggle. Me 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 me. Anyway. Um, also, it comes with 50 darts. Two magazines, two 10-rounder magazines, 50 darts. Nerf ain't given enough darts for a blaster in a very long time. They give you the exact amount you need and not one more. So it's crazy for them to give 50 darts with this. It's been a nice stimulus for my uh, dart bucket. So, I'll talk about the magazines. And, you know Let's fire it. I keep alluding to the regular trigger. 
and uh, I think I should show y'all what. Um, four AA batteries. Same amount as you'd need for a strife, but twice the twice the strife for the same amount of batteries. What's up with that? I don't know if this is like this on everybody's, but mine. The uh oh yeah, here's the jam door. Uh, but mine, it may look closed, but there is a uh, button right there that. You gotta look out for that. Cause I was sitting here after, like opening it for the first time thinking like, oh my God, mine is broke. Anyway, it was uh, 38 88 at Walmart. It's also like brand new. So like I got it at retail. I could have waited. I just didn't feel like it. Y'all know how it is. So I'm gonna fire like this way to show the mechanism. And uh, we'll talk a little bit. I'll show some different, like, you feel me? A couple things. They may be b brand new batteries. Clean wind up. Um, I think it's mainly. Ignore that. So, from other more talented people noticing this, it is actually one set of wheels for both. It's actually not even two barrels. Not two real barrels. They're not. They. It is one chamber. Two, one on top, one on bottom. Two cylinders, the flywheels, instead of there being two sets, what am I trying to say? On a normal flywheeler, you have one set of wheels. A set of wheels is two. You can't see the cage in this. So when I say that they're, this has the same amount of flywheels as the regular Strife does, but the flywheels just look different because they're cylinders as opposed to wheels. Like a steamroller front, does that make sense? Does this whack-ass way that I'm trying to say this make sense? Um, so you may have noticed the binary trigger. So what does the binary trigger mean is that it refers to a style of trigger that when you pull it, when you pull, it fires. And then when you let go, it fires again. So you've got like boom, 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 boom. This is kind of like giving two round burst. This is, it's still technically semi-auto because it's one dart per trigger pull. It just also has a dart on the trigger let go as well. It's kind of like slam fire for a semi-automatic blaster. It's really cool. This also does confirm now that um, all other nerf blasters are non-binary because this is the only binary nerf blaster off the shelves. So Murph was non-binary mascot Murph the Nerf mass um, was prophetic in a sense. Anyway, magazines. These are two 10 round magazines from two different eras. It's a fine magazine. It's just kind of cheap. I'm gonna be real. Like, the rest of the blaster feels great. The magazine is bunk. So, one, they're, like, this is an old, I mean, it's an in-strike elite. Y'all know what it is. It's got the clear on one side. This one does not have the clear. Very squishy, kind of cruddy plastic. Um, also, like, 
the bottom. I don't, I'm guessing that's like a fold in that like when they're cast that it's in one piece. One piece is real. Um, instead of there being like two pieces that they put together and thinking that this is kind of like butterflied out and then they like click because that's kind of yeah, because this doesn't have screws in it. This does. So it just feels a lot cheaper. That's my one gripe with it. Um, other than that, pretty darn good blaster. Now, I've got a few different magazines that one might be thinking. Um, like, like, when the mag magazines match, it looks neat. Like, I like that. That looks funny. This is uh, a 10 round demolisher modulus style magazine. And then we got the from the Halo assault rifle. I just think it's silly. Also, it may be because I'm stupid, but like, I feel like the arrow indicator telling you which way to show to load is just so much like less noticeable. I've actually, I've never misloaded a, ma a Nerf magazine more than with one of these. I guess, like, I don't know if it's just because I wasn't paying attention. It's possible that it's user error, but like comparing, this one's also got like marker on it. Nerf got tired of painting their blasters so much they didn't even do the mags. So that's silly, right? Um, we've also, I know y'all thinking it, because of the way that since these drums are non-symmetrical, unless you mod one of these to go in backwards, you cannot have two drums on here. Uh, but the thing is, is, you can still run it. A fun side effect of when you have one magazine that's bigger than the other is that sometimes you don't... If you run out of the one that fires when you pull the trigger, you now are just like, boom, 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 boom. Maybe this will be an example. There it is. Okay, so check this out. Never mind, it's on the pull. Okay, so it seems that the left is the pull the trigger, right mag is the let go of the trigger. So it does feel weird when you're just like laying down the fire and then all of a sudden you're just like, oh, oh, am I jammed? Damn. Now, I'm not going to blame the blaster for that because this is like a old broken rampage drum that is held together with masking tape. So, don't blame the blaster on that one. Normally, I would be like, hmm, but I this is a cruddy drum. I scavenged it, whatever. So, it feels a little weird to have both like ja, 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 and you're only firing one dart like that feels a little silly we'll finish out the mag and then all right and a surprising i could glue it back together i guess as opposed to trying to use tape um and there's not as much so part of a issue with flywheelers, especially stock ones, is the uh, rev up and the bog down between blasts, darts, shots, whatever. So like, you let your wheels spin up, they get to full speed, you fire. Because of the friction of 
the dart going through, pushing some of that energy through the dart, the, the flying wheels are going to bog down a little bit. So your first shot might be 75 feet per second. The next one might be 73, 71, 70. It, it, it bogs down. So like part of the reason why people improve batteries, wiring and stuff like that is just so that you can chew through the recharge of the wheel time, the, the, the refractory period, so to speak, is shorter so that you can do more consistent shots in semi-auto. There's a surprising lack of the bog down, or at least with the, the default mags. Yeah, I'm hunching over. I've got my phone propped up. It's not the same. Of course, it's not the same as the last setup. We moved. Clearly, we moved. This is a different room. My bed's not back there. There's no kitty cats. Wow. Anyway, um, it takes longer for this to bog down. I don't know what's different. Um, something also that a lot of new blasters is that they don't take the 18 sticks with the hump on it. I don't know if this one is the... I'll be damned. There we go. It's stampede goodness. bog down with that <laughs> but my dart piles does suggest that those are some original streamlines in there so that also makes sense there is no, i'm trying to i don't want to come off that i'm coming up with a lot of excuses for this i i don't have as protected a testing environment in that i have variables of cruddy parts. And, but did you, y'all notice though, with the rest of them, with the good darts, um, something I think is cute, let me look for it. Is that of the 50 darts that they included, they have two different colors. Look at that. One, I, I like the muted, it is very elite 2.0, which of course, not a great product line, but they've been getting better uh, with this and the, not the Roto Fury. It's the one that had the integrated shotgun blaster in with it. Roto Blitz, something like that. Um, anyway, that's cute. That was, that was a cute intentional decision that they did. Um, course if you're I've been trying to practice the uh and then uh do both at the same time it does feel pretty operator it feels good it feels good it's a lot of it's a it's a, I think it's a really neat idea for how to increase your rate of fire out of a semi-auto platform that, you know, binary triggers aren't unique. Like, this isn't the first time, they didn't invent the concept of the binary trigger, clearly. But, like, for this to be their initial, like, foray into the area, I think that this is pretty cool. Uh, it beats the piss out of the Rhino Fire. The the last time they had a two barrel like machine gun style with the two mags on the side. Um, I think that the double magwell, very cool. This would have been a lot shittier blaster if they tried to do it like the like the double dealer. Bad. Now, um, that basically concludes short stop, but whatever. I usually got it down here anyway. Um, now, we'll see how long these last, but I'm not going out. Let's be real, I'm not going outside ever anyway. Um, just a little sneak teaser for something else that's coming up. This is actually the first blaster that 
I got this blaster a lot, like Christmas, and I was like, ooh, I'll come back and make another video, and this will be a cool blaster to talk about, because it's, and then I just didn't, so here's a teaser for the next one, I figured it would go pretty well. Anyway, um, if y'all are still here, after my inconsistent release schedule, I, uh, I appreciate y'all. I stream usually, like, once, once weekly, sometimes twice weekly, just depends on my Twitch channel, Devil Gal Lao, spelled just like the same as the YouTube channel, and... You can follow me on Twitter. It's Twitter. Um, on Double Gal Lau. You can follow me on Instagram. Double Gal Lau. I got, I got this one nailed down. Uh, you cannot follow me on TikTok on Double Gal Lau. I, I, I don't have that one, sadly. I'll, but if y'all have a blue sky, Double Gal Lau. Dot blue sky dot social, whatever. Um, yeah. I'll talk to y'all later.